It's 70 degrees at Pittsburgh International at 9 o'clock. I'm Pat Septak. A massive three-alarm fire destroyed several buildings in West Aliquippa this morning. The flames broke out at around 4 a.m. in the 200 block of Erie Street. One of those buildings was occupied, but the residents were able to escape safely. No one was hurt, but the fire did cause a lot of devastation there. That fire is out. However, we're told that crews remain on the scene this morning for any potential hotspots. A fatal dirt bike accident is under investigation this morning. Authorities say 29-year-old Peter Caracato of Etna was riding the bike in the 500 block of Baird Ford Road on Friday when that crash occurred. He was pronounced dead at the scene. No other details have been released at this time. Governor Josh Shapiro will be marching in today's Pittsburgh Pride Parade, and State Representative Latasha Mays will serve as Grand Marshal. Mays was the first woman to represent the 24th Legislative District in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives and the first out lesbian to serve in the Pennsylvania General Assembly. Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald says this year's event is expected to be bigger and better than ever. But I remember being at that 30 years ago, and there might have been two elected officials, you know, Dan Frankel and myself and Bill Peduto. But now, just about every elected official, corporate Pittsburgh, foundations, universities, it's a parade that will almost rival the Labor Day parade and or the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. Fitzgerald uh, made those comments on the BK Morning Show. The parade kicks off at noon at 11th and Liberty Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh. State lawmakers in Harrisburg may soon require hospitals to hire more nurses. Two bills and committees would enact a law requiring an adequate nurse-to-patient ratio. News Radio KDKA's Melinda Roeder reports. Right now, there's a lot of disparity among hospitals, some nurses caring for up to a dozen patients at a time. The result is burnout and resignation. Dr. Matthew McHugh is a researcher at the University of Pennsylvania School of Nursing. You need to have staffing to keep staffing. McHugh says fewer nurses are choosing to work in bedside care, a trend that existed even before the pandemic, and it's forcing hospitals to pay a lot more for travel nurses. A lot of hospitals probably kept the lights on because of travel nurses. They saved hospitals during the pandemic, and our research shows that outcomes tend to be just as good. He says research shows better staffing could prevent deaths in Pennsylvania hospitals and lead to reduced length of patient stays. Melinda Roeder, News Radio, KDKA. A piece of nostalgia has been acquired by the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum. News Radio KDK's Rob Taylor has that story. Aptly named the Terrible Trolley, it was a standout amongst the many trolleys operated by what was then known as the Port Authority of Allegheny County from 1980 until 1998. The black and gold painted trolley was sold to a collector in Ohio and remained in storage for more than 20 years, but now it's back in our region in possession of the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum in Washington to the delight of the museum's executive director, Scott Becker. And, you know, the city had gone through some tough times with the steel mills being closing and, you know, people losing their jobs and that kind of thing. So it really, the Steelers doing so well gave everybody hope. And so this trolley is really embryonic of that. Becker is hopeful the trolley will be an operation for visitors to ride at the museum. Rob Taylor, News Radio, KDK. KDKA Sports, the Pirates come back from a five-run deficit last night to beat the St. Louis Cardinals 7-5. to Game two in that series is this afternoon at 4 5 at PNC Park. KDKA Radio News Time 903. Time to call Shenderovich, Shenderov- Shenderovich and Fishman. Why pay 40% when you can pay 25%? Call 888-98-TWINS. The AccuWeather forecast is next. Diamonds Direct takes our most popular offer ever up to the next level. Now, for a limited time, you can make any purchase and take advantage of special financing for up to five years. Or get $5,000 off. Get the lowest possible monthly payment or get a generous cash credit. It's all about giving you more. Design the ring of your dreams with our most flexible finance options. And best savings ever offered. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Get details and more at DiamondsDirect.com. On approved credit. Shop local at Pittsburgh's best-kept secret, Tom Friday's Market. Tom Friday's Market is one of the few remaining true butcher shops in town. Enjoy all-natural, farm-fresh, and local high-quality beef, pork, poultry, homemade hot and sweet sausage, and smoked kielbasa, all at affordable prices. Tom Friday's Market never uses antibiotics or hormone in any of their meats and poultry. Tom Friday's Market, California Avenue, Brighton Heights, 412-766-4500. Just one minute from the McKees Rocks Bridge. Get the best for less. TomFridaysMarket.com. 
The KDKA AccuWeather Forecast is brought to you by JP Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing replacement contractor. Call 412-829-7711. Today will be quite warm with some sunshine, but also a thunderstorm in spots this afternoon. High 89, a shower early tonight, then clearing, low 61. Nice tomorrow with sunshine and a high of 80. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Kara Bovinsky, 100.1 FM and AM 1020, KDKA. KDKA Radio News Time, 9.05. Our next update at 9.30. I'm Pat Septak on the Voice of Pittsburgh, News Radio, KDKA. The following is paid for by MediConnect. Information on the program is intended to solely further the public's general knowledge about the product. Opinions expressed should not be relied upon for any purpose by any member of the audience. News Radio KDKA does not guarantee the accuracy of any of the information aired on the following program. These are the people, the movers and shakers, the businesses, the people you know in your community who make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM AM 1020, KDKA. All right, here we go. Uh, MediConnect, Inside Connection. So you know me. I just tell the truth. You know, yeah. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. And I knew Ed was coming in today, Ed Banizak, a relative no of my dear friend John Banizak. And as he said, if he had a dollar for every time somebody asked him that, he'd be extremely rich. But he ha- handles teachers. And we're going to ask any teacher who has some Medicare questions, if you want it to answer it right now, real time, 866-391-1020. Or you can call and set up an appointment with them where there is never a charge for their services, 888-818-6334. And the thing that John Banizak loved about me the most was my former wife. <laughs> she's just a really great lady, and she's also an elementary school teacher. And it was her last day of school yesterday, and she had her students out playing miniature golf in that 85-degree <laughs> weather. So this is going to be a great hour, and it's great to have you here. It's going to be a fascinating topic. Just move in a little bit closer to that microphone. And here is your host. Our guy who makes it all happen, especially in that social media world, podcasting, the streaming show on KDK Television, sets up everything for us here with the rest of the crew at MediConnect. It's always nice to say hi to my friend, whose wife works for the Allegheny Health Network. Yep. He is Sean Horn. Hey, Sean. Good morning. You look amazing, Rob. Thanks, man. And uh, very happy to be here with you today. And, you know, this is a big show for me as well because, you know, I've long believed that Teachers are biggest asset. Underappreciated, underpaid, but my goodness, the the work that they do. So, if you are a teacher, especially heading into those retirement years, potentially you're not sure what you want to do. Um, we have the living legend right here with us today. Not many people in the industry are more educated on the teacher situation than my good friend Ed Banas. I will be bringing in on the second segment and carry on for the rest of the show. So, if you do have those questions. Get locked and loaded, and we'll be happy to answer them. But, um, you know, want to also talk a little bit about the fact that we're we're seeing a little bit of traction when it comes to teachers even coming to our new to Medicare seminars as of late. Um, and again, if that's something that you uh, want to take up, we'll be more than happy to have you. We got we're gonna have a breakdown of the listings of where we're gonna be in the next few weeks here shortly. But as always, we're gonna start today with having a little bit of fun. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, hopefully, gather on the radio here in a Let's learn a little bit about some history of this day, June 3rd, going back a few years. So, Rob, back in 1965, NASA launched the second crewed mission of the Gemini space program. Right, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. And during this uh, flight uh, of the uh, Gemini 4, the rocket circled Earth 66 times in four days. And this was also uh, when Ed White obviously became the first American to walk in space. So, unreal. <laughs> Again, how far we have come. I, I say this all the time when we go over the segment. How far we have come in such a short period of time when it comes to all the technologies and uh, findings out there now. Listen, you, I don't even think you were on the Earth, but Ed and I were when man landed on the moon, Neil mm-hmm. Armstrong. And here's what's staggering. It's taken us all the way until November of 2024 with fingers crossed to get back to the moon. So... I say, let's go for the stars and beyond. Absolutely. Why not? Let's find out what's out there, right? Yeah, absolutely. wonder if they have Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if they're out there and they need it, we'll find them. That's right. Uh, the, the song Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen went gold this day back in 1976, which means you've having sold 500,000 copies. And they didn't want to put it on the album, but it was uh, Freddie Mercury that said, look... Either I'm on that song or that album, or there's no album. And, yeah. And it changed the course of rock music. Rock opera really started because of that. It did. And I mean, is there, and I mean, 
that band as a whole, I mean, you have a rocket scientist that plays guitar. You have Freddie Mercury, possibly the greatest front man ever. Um, and, and what a, I mean, a few years later, you know, the Wayne's World movies, they used that and it became an iconic scene. So pretty awesome. That, you what know, kind of car were they driving in? Oh, I don't remember. On the radio, that AM radio. I don't remember. A pacer. Is that right? You, you, you know what a pacer. I remember what a pacer. So, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a fishbowl on wheels. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what it was, right? That's what it was. That's awesome. And then, uh, how about this one? I love this, this because uh, I was actually alive for this one. In 1988, Big, starring Tom Hanks, uh, premiered in the United States. They spent $18 million on that movie. It actually grossed over $151 million, So it was a and directed by one of my all-time favorites, the late Penny Marshall. Yep. Yeah, great movie. And how about that chopstick scene, huh? To this day. Yeah. I can't imagine. I trip over my own shoelace. <laughs> right, that me would, too. That would be pretty difficult. And then in 2015, a doctor in Texas performed the world's first successful partial skull and scalp transplant. Patient had significant head wounds from a cancer treatment. So... You know, again, being in this industry, in this world, talking about healthcare and, and how insurance law works within it and so forth. You know, I was on the show a few months back when we talked about the first successful heart transplant, which is near and dear to me because of my wife working at Allegheny General Hospital in that unit. And now we're hearing, again, back in 2015, not even 10 years ago, there was a successful skull and scalp transplant. I mean, it, it, the way that medicine has moved in the last 15, 20 years especially, is truly unbelievable. So, again, we're thrilled to be a part of uh, that in our limited role when it comes to helping people navigate it through Medicare. But, um, you know, want to move on to the trivia question, which, by the way, if you're plugged into our Facebook page, you already know the answer because I put it out there. I saw that yesterday. One of my favorite people of all time. My goodness, what a legend. So get on the phone right now if you know it. Be first in line with the answer. But the question is... The longest home run ever hit at the former Yankee Stadium was put into orbit, talking a lot about space, to put into orbit by a famous baseball player with strong Pittsburgh roots back in 1937. What member of the Homestead Grays hit the 580-foot dinger? And listen, if this player were playing today, he would probably have 10% of the Pirates. I know. Just, just to be able to play. That's how good he was. I know. And I did a lot of research on this guy afterwards because I was just so fascinated by his story. My word. It I is. mean, we'll talk a lot more about it once the, uh, the, the, the correct answer comes in. But if you do have that correct answer, you will get a $15 gas card. And again, the answer is right there on our Facebook page if you want uh, to call in and redeem that. And then lastly, if you are going to be new to Medicare within the next 12 months, here are the locations we will be. Um, so again, new to Medicare, you're not sure if you need it or not, you're turning 65, you may be retiring and you're over the age of 65. Now is the time to get plugged into these events. June 6th, we are going to be at the Microtel Inn up in Beaver Falls. June 13th, AHN Harmer Hospital out in the uh, Freeport area. So. Uh, check us out there. June 14th, Quality Inn in uh, Terenum. So check us out in New Kensington. Again, the Quality Inn, 300 Terenum Bridge Road. And then June 20th, Hampton Inn, West Mifflin, Lebanon Church Road. Always a big turnout in the Pleasant Hills area. So uh, 6 o'clock start times for all of these events. Within an hour, you will have all of the information you need to get started on your Medicare journey. And there's no cost of, for anything we ever do, and especially to attend these events. If you do want to get your seat registered, 888-818-6334 or go to MediConnectInsurance.com and click on our Seminars tab. Uh, by the way, that number, if you think you know the trivia question, you'll get the gas card is 412-922-1020, 412-922-1020. The all-knowing, the all-seeing when it comes to teachers, Medicare benefits, and more. Ed Banizak is in the studio. So if you have a question, if you're a teacher, call us, 866-391-1020. And I saw you brought your Dunkin' Iced coffee here today i need it today man national donut day yesterday i'll give both of you a chance to jump in here and i could have told everyone this and it was actually glazed donuts okay which have always been my favorite so what's your favorite donut man i tell you i'm between boston cream Ooh. and i also love the coffee roll like the big uh bear claw if right. you will yeah yeah oh my goodness I'll cheat on my diet for those, for sure. They don't look anything like a bear claw, but if you were in the woods, a bear's claw would snatch that right <laughs> Without a doubt, yes. So, Ed, what's your favorite? Uh, again, I like those cream donuts. 
uh, Boston cream and uh, the uh, not, not the bear claws, but the cinnamon rolls. We used to have a little bakery back in New Brighton called the Beaver Valley Bakery that was owned by the Fabianic family. Okay. And after mass on Sundays, we would all go, six of us, but my dad would only let one of us come in because they gave you a free cookie. But she was such a nice lady. I lean up with my nose up against the glass, hand my dad, get your hands off yeah. that glass. <laughs> and I'd have the Sunday paper under my arm that weighed like 10 pounds. And she'd give us all, like if, whatever cookie I said, chocolate chip, oatmeal, raisin, peanut butter, she would give us six. She'd go, now you take these for your sister. And honestly, I, I did that probably till I was like 25, <laughs> you know? <laughs> free cookie's a free cookie. A free donut's a free donut. Yeah. And a lot of these places were giving out like Dunkin' free donuts yesterday. That's amazing. Oh, I, I didn't nice. partake, unfortunately, but... That's awesome. But glazed donuts go back to my grandfather coming up either before or after we went to church, and he would always bring a dozen of uh, glazed donuts from DeAngelis's. Okay, take a short break. We'll come back. If you think you know that trivia question, and here is the question again real quick. Go ahead, Sean. Question, trivia? It, the, it is the longest home run ever hit at the former Yankee Stadium was put in orbit by a famous baseball player with strong Pittsburgh roots back in 1937. What member of the Homestead Grays hit the 580-foot home run? And if you don't get it after that, you're never going to get it. Never. 412-922-1020. Four, we'll be back. The source you trust for news and information that matters. News Radio KDKA. John Schmutzer from Metropolitan Window Company. One of our strengths is that we have always been a family-run business. Now, along with Maggie and Justin, I'm delighted to welcome another member of the family to the business, my daughter Missy. Thanks, Dad. I've always wanted to be a part of the Metropolitan team, but had to wait till my own family got a little older before I could make that move. Typically, either Maggie or Missy will be the first voice you hear when you call and the last voice you hear when your job is completed. We're like your personal concierge. We set the initial appointment and keep in contact through the installation process. And when the job is complete, we make a final call to ensure that you're 100% satisfied. By the way, right now is our summer sale, and you can save 20% plus get 18 months no interest financing on every Infinity from Marvin fiberglass window. So like my mom says, let's get that ball rolling. We have showrooms on Route 51 across from Baldwin High School and Route 19 in Wexford. We're on the web at metropolitanwindows.com or just call 412 655 Baseball is in full swing. The free Odyssey app lets you listen to local coverage for the team you love. Live stream your favorite sports radio station. Or jump back and listen to the best segments on demand. Don't forget we talk to the manager every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Don't listen to some guy from the other side of the country tell you about your team. Live conversations for your local team. No matter where you are. Your season, your Odyssey. Get in the game and download the free Odyssey app today. Beauty, durability, and value. Start your Nature Stone experience today with basement floor pricing as low as $1.99 a square foot plus installation. Visit naturestone.com to schedule your free cost estimate. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. Did you know that now you can listen to all your favorite stations, including this one, shows, and even podcasts all on the Odyssey app? Download it now. These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. All right, we got a, a winner, Melvin of Delmont, and it was Josh Gibson. Yep. What a player. And, and how far was that, Homer? Does it say? 580 feet. And remember who was playing at that place at the same time? Babe Ruth. Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, they say that he, he hit the furthest ever. That's not even his longest on at least as far as the story is is concerned. Let me tell you how far we've come in our country, but still, we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. I've been talking a lot about these issues on my show. The movie Fences mm -hmm. with uh, mm -hmm. Denzel Washington, mm -hmm. yep. great movie about that era in Pittsburgh, the Hill District before all of the, I guess, redevelopment came in, like yeah. Civic mm -hmm. Arena, what have you. These incredible families lived in these neighborhoods, and one of the very poignant moments in that movie Someone said, I saw Josh Gibson's daughter today, and she needs a pair of shoes. And that, that just that ripped at my soul for weeks. I think it was Denzel or his, his neighbor. Um, and I think the neighbor is the guy you actually used to sing in the fifth dimension, but I'm not sure, but he reminded me a lot of that guy. And I thought to myself, here was maybe the greatest baseball player of his time, even better than Babe Ruth. Yep. Mm -hmm. And la years later, his daughter needed new shoes. That's it. That was kind of gut wrenching. Yeah, I mean, and his his wife passed away yeah. in delivery right. um, of his children, and then he had an early death. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, so it, it's a shame, really. And again, how far medicine has come in such a short time, but 
Um, you know, it, to, to see what he could have done in today's game, it would have been unreal. But I know one thing. When he walked around the Hill District back in the day, yeah. he was the man. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Without a doubt. So congratulations to Melvin out in Do- uh, Delmont. We will be getting that card out to you on Monday. And, you know, this is a big episode for us here at the uh, Inside Connection with MediConnect because, again, the teachers and, and, and people in education in our area – my goodness, the work that they do, um, and, and we want to make sure that we give the proper appreciation, especially for those of you who are nearing retirement, potentially considering it for the first time. Again, huge uh, opportunity here for you today to really lean in and talk to an expert on the matter. I'm very blessed and very happy to have my good friend Ed Banizak here with me this morning, who is happy to take on all of our questions today. So, Ed, first and foremost, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing fine, Sean. Glad to be here. Thank you, Rob. Great to have you here. Ed. We're very happy to have you here. And, Ed, you know, give us a little bit of a historical background on a personal level when it comes to why you got involved in the Medicare to begin with. Well, at a certain point, didn't have much of a choice because my corporate career ended. I worked. Uh, I come out of the workers' compensation industry. Okay. Uh, we were a subsidiary of Nationwide Insurance back then. Nationwide decided to get out of that line of business. So, okay, we need to move on and do something else. So we, you know, we get our insurance license, and uh, still had some connection working with some of the local unions on benefits. And lo and behold, uh, you know, I run into this then young guy, Brian Breisinger. What can I say, Rob? <laughs> okay, the, the lamp, lamp went the on. Lamp. Brian was still Brian was still doing financial services at the time, but then you know he tells that story about the uh, the lady and the retiree, the, yep. you know the state trooper or whatever it was, and, and penalized for Medicare. That's how it got started. And he got into it. We got into it, and then uh, we just been on a roll. Part and parcel to that is uh, there's another old friend of mine who, you know, is the main coordinator for a group called the Allegheny County Healthcare Consortium, which is a school collection. Okay, we're going to talk about that. He's a local guy. Brian's a local guy. We're all from Carrick. It's that Bronzeville Road connection right out there. <laughs> right? Okay, Arlington, Mount Halver, Carrick, Brentwood, yep. where Sean is. So it's, it's a relationship thing that's been great. We're, we've been on a roll. And uh, it this continues, uh, you know, uh, to be good for all, really for all parties. And I want to talk a, a lot more about this because I think you're pretty humble about it. But it, this is pretty big for MediConnect and a large reason for our growth over the last few years, especially. But you know, you've nurtured a, quite a relationship with the OSHIC group and the, the um, you know teachers unions around us. So talk a little bit about the this the, um, how far reaching. Um, your work goes because I mean you're in a lot of different school districts you're in a few different counties around us so yeah. talk a little bit about how far you go uh, again the the Allegheny County Healthcare School Consortium right now consists of about 90 different school districts right? Wow. and they're now in about 11 different counties huh. okay and what this is is a it's a self-insured pool for basically for health care Okay, a high mark is the administrator, and you get a high mark insurance card if you're, you know, when you're actively at work at one of these schools. Uh, but the actual payments come from the consortium members, so it's like a self-insured program. So th- those folks are all over. You know, they're in 11 different counties. Uh, there are multiple unions involved. Some of them are, most of them are PSEA. Mm-hmm. Some of the locations may have AFT members. Okay, so you have different unions different benefits within the same school district all right and then the other thing that we're going to talk about here is the makeup of the group so we're we're we talk a lot about quote teachers but there are administrators paraprofessionals bus drivers custodians that are also part of the same health plan but they're certainly not retiring with the same benefits as some others so now you're into an individual situation where you need to walk them through uh, you know the realities of coming mm-hmm. off that school plan. Here's what we can do. Here, what you can do, what you should do. Okay, so it's the education, and these guys talk about edu- You guys talk about education every week, so we're educating the educators. So mm-hmm. we're with we're a niche within a niche, so to speak, in that particular market. And you know, I will say I've been active with Medicare personally for the last 12 or so years, and you know, back in my early beginnings in this industry, I would 
you know, run into a teacher and almost always say, you know what, stay where you're at. Your benefits are great. There's not, it's, it's untouchable from a Medicare perspective. Go with the union benefits. But now, personally speaking, at least, um, you know, when I was running at a high level within the last couple of years here, not so much the case anymore, where oftentimes Medicare might be the more beneficial way to go for these people who were, who have been in, locked in the education system for the last 30 years or what have you. So I'm seeing it at a small level where people should really look at their options between Medicare and the union. Talk a little bit about that. Are you seeing, are you uh, facing a lot of that as well? Uh, every day, Sean. Uh, and again, the, the commercial market, as I call it, where Sean and I play, much more competitive in their pricing, in their coverages, in their plan options. Okay, so, uh, quote, back in the day, uh, you know, as Sean said, coverage-wise, the health plan that the school people have while they're actively at work, tremendous, great, they're cheap, relatively speaking, cost-wise. Yep. Okay, when they come off that school plan, as I say, your scholarship now ends, welcome to the real world, all right? So uh, what we're seeing here is that uh, people need to have – they have this group has more options than most because there are certain plans within the school, within PEASERS and HOPs, that are not available to others, okay? So we have to make sure that we're touching all the points within that process to make sure that they have an understanding of what those options are. You're not limited to the school retirement options. Mm -hmm. and, and you – what would you say the breakdown is – when it comes to the percentage of people you're able to help versus those you're telling to stay on the hop? Well, uh, again, I like to think that I've helped everybody who I talk to in one way or another, even if that means staying where you're at or providing another alternative. Okay. So much clarity just in the last segment, you know, and I've always stood up for teachers, especially the mentality they work nine months out of the year. Uh, Listen, be in a classroom when it's 85 degrees and you have no <laughs> air conditioning and you've got uh, third graders. Trust me, you'll be begging to go do whatever you do. But that whole thing of, well, they've got the best benefits. But you see, when they're done, they have to face certain things that we face. So we're all in this boat together and you're the great equalizer. And that's what I love about what you do, Ed. And if I might more... Uh just, just as an aside, some of these schools that are in the group, I mean, you're over there in Oakland for the school for the blind. Right. Working with that group, ah, my goodness. Or you're driving a bus when you can't even Ex put up with your own kids. Exactly. Your own <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. I know. I, God bless you. And, and yeah. janitors, what they do, I know how yeah. I clean up after my kids. Yeah. So, God bless them all. 888-818-6334. Never a charge for their services. Ed Banizak, of course, Sean Horn, your host. This is your Pratt Pack on KDK. Your local eight Coons Market grocery stores are just the right size for everything you need. Coons isn't too big where you get lost searching for items. And it's not too small. Coons provides thousands of the most popular items in every Coons store. Coons customer service is just right as well. With friendly and knowledgeable Coons team members at each store to make sure your shopping experience is just right. Coons prices will make you feel more than all right. This week you'll find... From the Coons Deli, Brecky Overnight Oats... 5.3 ounce package, two sixty nine each. Fresh from our bakery, Coons 8 inch apple pie, five nine nine each. And this week, Coke, Sprite, or Dr Pepper, six pack half liter bottles, three for five dollars. Lots of specials. Coons Markets offers a shopping experience that is just right, and with savings you can see on your Coons Rewards card. Shop at one of Coons' eight store locations, or shop online at CoonsMarket.com for convenient curbside pickup. Coons Market, a Pittsburgh tradition. For you. Guns and Roses Live. North America 2023. Special guest, The Pretenders. Friday, August 18th, PNC Park. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Finally, back in North America. Don't miss Guns and Roses. It's Marty Griffin. I have seen so much angst and anger these days. That You know what's overwhelmed me with joy and optimism? This Get Marty. The folks in this community that have stepped up. You can't help your neighbor if you hate your neighbor. Get Marty epitomizes that opportunity to help people, feed people, clothe people, educate people. If you need me, get Marty at kdkradio.com. It's where we will find a way to help you. Get Marty is brought to you by the Bowser Family Foundation. Matt Mertz Plumbing, now part of the Armstrong Comfort Solutions family. UPMC and Robert Pierce and Associates. 
100.1 FM and AM 1020 KDKA. Covered by J.P. Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing company. From the Aetna Medicare Solutions Studio. Proud to be the voice of Pittsburgh. 100.1 FM and AM 1020 KDKA. It's 73 degrees at Pittsburgh International at 9.30. I'm Pat Septak. A teen boy is hospitalized after falling through the roof at the abandoned Century 3 Mall, which has been vacant since 2019. KDKA-TV reports the teen fell about 20 feet through the roof. No word on the victim's condition at this time. Later this month, a hearing will be held to condemn the West Mifflin Mall, which at one time was the third biggest mall in the world. Allegheny County pools open today at 1130, with temperatures 90 or higher, ninety degrees or higher today. They are expected to be packed, but P- County Executive Rich Fitzgerald says they'll be ready. North Park is, I think, the biggest, still the biggest pool in, in the region. Um, it's an immense park. It's got obstacle courses and, and you know, different things within the pool. Uh, and then we also have the three wave pools. And the Pittsburgh Pride Parade kicks off soon. Here is News Radio KDK's Rob Taylor. Thousands are expected to attend the Pittsburgh Pride March and Parade today downtown. State Representative Latasha D. Mays, who represents many East End neighborhoods in District 24, is excited to serve as the Grand Marshal. I feel so honored that the Pittsburgh Pride group selected me. This is the 50th anniversary of Pride. I understand the celebration and the joy, but I also understand the political resistance that brought us to this moment. The parade begins at noon at 11th Street and Liberty Avenue. Rob Taylor, News Radio, KDKA. In sports, the Pirates and Cardinals play again this afternoon. The Bucks beat St. Louis 7 to 5 last night. Today's first pitch is at 4:05. We've got sunny skies and 74 degrees in Pittsburgh. I'm Pat Septak. Our next update at 10. And stay up to date minute by minute on our Twitter feed at KDKA Radio. The KDKA AccuWeather Forecast is brought to you by J.P. Roofing and Siding, Pittsburgh's number one platinum preferred roofing replacement contractor. Call 412-829-7711. Some sun today, quite warm with an afternoon thunderstorm, high 89. A shower early tonight, then clearing, low 61. Tomorrow and Monday, a fair amount of sun, highs each day near 80. For AccuWeather... I'm meteorologist Kara Bavinsky, 100.1 FM and AM 1020, KDKA. The following is paid for by MediConnect. These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020, KDKA. You know, you have a great opportunity. You know how much respect I have for the PSEA and teachers. And listen, if you have a question about Medicare, health care coverage, you're heading to retirement, you've just retired, this is the guy, the go-to guy, Ed Banizak. What a great opportunity when Brian Bryserger met him many, many years ago, and he is such a gift to have at MediConnect. So 888-818-6334 is their number. Never a charge for their services say you want to meet this ed guy or <laughs> you can call us here at 866-391-1020 or just say mr banizak which is not a hard name to forget in the great city of pittsburgh three times super bowl champion now <laughs> seminars up and coming i'm going to tell you this now he'll do the seminars and then we'll get right back to ed there is not a charge for these seminars. They're free, but you have to reserve your space. You can go to MediConnectInsurance.com, click on the Seminars tab, reserve your space, or you can call them because we always have those live advisors there until noon on Saturdays, 888-818-6334, 888-818-6334. And now this is where they'll be coming to a neighborhood near you. Sean. June 6th, we're going to be at the Microtel Inn up in Beaver Falls, uh, 6 o'clock start time, much like all these other events. June 13th, we're going to be at the AHN Harmer Hospital. June 14th, the Quality Inn out in uh, the Terrenum, New Kensington area. And then the Hampton Inn out in West Mifflin on June 20th. So we're hitting all the quadrants of the city. Wherever you are, we're going to be coming to you. Get in line, check out these events, get educated so that you, again, start your Medicare career off on the right foot. 888-818. 6334 or MediConnectInsurance.com to get your seat registered. And again, here with my good friend Ed Banizak, works very strongly with all of the teachers of this great state, especially on the uh, you know the western part of the, the state here. And kind of want to give you an open mic opportunity here to really get into some of the things that you've come across, especially recently, for teachers 
who are considering retiring, maybe taking that early buyout option that, you know, is sometimes presented. What should, or let's start here. What do you often face when it comes to providing the advisory work that people should really take in right now so that they can, again, start their Medicare career off on the right foot? What are you facing a lot of time? What are you having to undo? Well, what, some of the things that we have to undo are, first of all, some misconceptions about the overall process. All right. So, uh, again, we, we see people who are, you know, trying to planning to retire. Maybe they don't even know what date. Mm -hmm. All right. But you have to have a retirement date in mind, then work backwards to fill in the processes that need to take place to get you to a nice landing spot. But if I want to make, if I might, Sean, yeah. uh, we, you know, we, we, we use the term teachers, and I want to make sure that we're very, very clear here that that term is pretty broad within, the, you know, any school. So within a school district, you could have a superintendent, a principal, a teacher. And my wife's a retired teacher from Woodland Hills. Mm -hmm. And God bless her, she did her duty there. So I've had a, uh, I want to say, an inside look at this whole process well beyond, you know, getting involved with, you know, with, with Brian. But anyhow, uh, you, you have your paraprofessionals, your secretaries, your, your custodians, bus drivers, all right? There are no second-class citizens that, you know, in our world, all right? So it makes no matter, you know, when my phone rings, it doesn't screen out principal, superintendent, right. it, this rings, hi, this is Ed, how can I help you? Yep. Okay? So they're not retiring with, the, they're under the same health plan while they're actively at work, but they're not retiring with the same benefit package, okay, uh, as you know, as some might be within that district. The other thing that we try to do is, you know, it, from an education standpoint, and we're out in all these school districts as much as we can be individually, okay? Mm -hmm. So we probably did a 12, uh, 12 15 different pre-retirement meetings at a lot of the schools all over the place. And what we find is that uh, people get the wrong information. We're trying to educate, and somebody's listening to their neighbor up the street, all right? And what, for example... Uh, as long as you are actively at work, covered by an active health plan, you do not need Medicare, particularly Medicare B, because that's payable. And I can't tell you how many times when, you know, somebody's going to retire in June and you you know, we're meeting them fine, and, uh, you know, somebody's been paying for their Medicare because they turned 65 in January. Why'd you do that? Well, my neighbor up the street says, I had to turn, you know, I turned 65, I have to have Medicare, I'll be penalized. No. Okay, so somebody might be overpaying unnecessarily uh, for their Medicare when they didn't need it. The other thing is the people don't understand uh, what options they have. Everybody they know does the Pizza's Hop plan, and, you know, they just don't, you know, or they're getting information, you know, in the mail. They get real popular. They just set it aside. And <laughs> some of that's probably good, mm -hmm. okay, that, that part of it. But again, it's, it's, it's not talking to the right person or getting information from a source that might be well-intended, but not, not accurate. You know, I, I, gotta tell you. I would love to go, and it probably couldn't happen, but I'd love to go to one of those meetings. And I'll tell you why. Because I do have respect for teachers, and I think people need to hear the truth. And that's why I have this wonderful platform at KDK Radio. But here's the other thing that I've learned, being at all these doctor visits that I've been to with friends and family and myself, when you hear somebody on Medicare and a doctor or a nurse comes over and talks to them, they don't have the same thing going through their mind that I have going through my mind. Like, how much are those x-rays going to cost? Or should I get this? Or say, don't, we'll get it next time. And you were saying during the break, you've seen it firsthand, too. So if you get the right plan, and if you're a teacher and you've done your time like his wife, and we're talking, that's old Pittsburgh, great communities like Rankin, Swissville, Braddock, yep. Yep. Woodland Hills, George Novak, some of the best years of my life, uh, being there in uh, Turtle Creek at the, the Wolverine. I absolutely love that school district. But what I'm telling the audience is, if you can get Medicare, retired teacher or not heading in that direction, retired broadcaster or not heading in that direction, <laughs> yep. call MediConnect because you, you're, you're going to have peace of mind that you're not going to get anywhere else. And I'll even say, you know, whenever you're of Medicare age and potentially still working, I'm talking to you, Mr. Pratt, over there. 66 so, and a half. Yeah, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're seeing that more and more often, but I would still recommend people in that scenario to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Medicare and the coverage that they have at work because once you're eligible for Medicare, you can get onto it at any time. And as we've discussed, obviously you know about my little health thing I got going on here. I had an MRI covered by a great plan through my wife because she works at the hospital. 
I had an MRI not that long ago. Cost me seven hundred and seventy-one dollars. Whereas if I was on Medicare, it would have been under two hundred, with no deductibles. So I mean, like, it's worth a side-by-side comparison, regardless of your situation, if you're Medicare eligible, because you could very well be overpaying or undercovered. So, um, but I want to move a little bit more forward when it comes to the educators and those in the educational system in our region here, Ed. Mm-hmm. The one hundred dollar allowance. <laughs> yeah. This is something that I have to undo and unwind a lot whenever mm-hmm. I'm doing the advice. So talk a little bit about that and, you know, the power of it or some misconceptions sure. related to it. Sure. So uh, so so Peasers has a department called HOPS, Health Option Programs, okay? And what that is is a menu of Medicare-related plans, a combination of uh, supplemental plans and or uh, Advantage plans. They, if you, if someone has like 24 years of service and an age and or age 62, they may qualify for a hundred dollars of they call premium assistance. All right, so that's a hundred dollars off of one of these hop plans. Sounds good. All right, non-premium assisted spouse doesn't get the, the premium assistance. Separate issue. All right, but the point is that those plans are awfully pricey, mm-hmm. with or without. The discount, so to speak. All right. So you want to, the commercial world continues to be much more price friendly. Now, if you're the spouse of an educator or, or someone who works for the school, all right, you're not getting the hundred dollars. The hop plans at that point become outrageously overpriced, and that that's really a no-brainer. But even with the hundred dollars of premium assistance, in many cases, if you take the commercial plans plus a household discount, you will be at or below that hop number which tells you how pricey the, the HOP plan is. Great coverage, don't get me wrong, but it's just the same coverage that you would get in the right Medicare supplement plan in the commercial world. So we want to, again, now there may be times when that HOP plan makes sense. Yeah. Okay? And if that makes sense, and I'm the alternative to HOP, but I will tell you to go to HOP. Example, you're on some type of a medication. Now, medications on Part D, that may be the biggest the component of somebody's decision even to retire because how is that medication going to be co- covered once I leave the school plan? Right now, the school plan is going to pay it, no questions asked, you just go. Well, welcome to Medicare. Yeah. All right. Excuse my grammar, but it ain't going to be the same. All right. And if, for instance, you're on some type of a specialty drug, and all these drugs are in tiers, as we've talked about before, tier one, two, three, four. You're on a specialty drug, the retail cost on those may be prohibitively expensive. All right. Those plans, those drugs may be better covered under the HOP plan, okay, than it would be under a commercial plan. If that's the case, I'll tell you. Quick example, we did a seminar uh, down in Cole Center. You know where Cole Center is down near California, Rob? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know okay. California, but I, I've never Yeah, well, the Allegheny Intermediate Unit rounded up a whole bunch of schools, okay? So we were doing a seminar down there, and uh, I always get to do the donut hole with, uh, with the prescription plan. Right, Fine, you right. know? Mm. So we finish up. And there was a lady, you know, stopped me after. She was from Laurel Highlands. Okay, yeah, yeah. she was just getting ready to retire. She was turning in sixty-five. She said, "Mr. Banizak, I, you know, she's crying." I said, "What's the matter?" She said, "Well, I'm on this drug, you know, this pill. It, you know, it's fifty-two hundred dollars a pill." Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey, yeah. She said, "What should I do?" I said, "Well, if I found you. I'd stay at the school and let the school pay for it. And I can't. I have to leave. You know." Right. I said, "Well, you need to then go to the hot plan because that hot plan for that particular category of drugs has a cap." Okay, mm-hmm. e- you know, either 150 or 200 dollar cap. Mm-hmm. Okay, if she were in a commercial plan with me in the commercial market, she'd be paying 25 percent of that right out of the box because she's above the donut hole the first month. Yep. Okay, so she might. So instead of paying, uh, you know, 1300 dollars, 25 percent of you know, 5200 right. or whatever it is, she's right. going to pay you know, 200. So. Win win. Win well, yeah, okay, such as it is. That also gets to the point where we'd like to see you as part of your retirement planning process. This is all about planning. What's your strategy? Okay. You're coming off a great plan. Well, that plan's gonna end. What can I expect? Am I gonna hit the coverage gap or the donut hole? If so, when? What's that going to cost? So you're projecting out a plan, okay, 
so people have an idea of what, you know what their landing spot's going to look like. Just to bring up Mr. Banizak, no relation to this guy, but he's been a big mentor to me through my years and was a broadcasting partner forever, and I absolutely love John Banizak and his wife Mary. So he signs as a free agent for $1,500, and you got the White White playing ahead of you in the steel curtain. Mm. He not only goes on to play, but he also wins three Super Bowl titles. So you never know. But this is what I'm the connection I'm making to this, Mr. Banizak. You know, we do this show every week, mm -hmm. and I wonder, am I making people understand you really need MediConnect? No matter who you are, you really need to have somebody maneuver this for you. And who are the smartest people in the room? Nine times out of ten, teachers. Yeah. They teach people every day. And they feel the need to bring you in to teach them. Yeah. So that's respect for MediConnect. That's respect for these teachers. And it makes us all realize that, you know what? We all need a little help every once in a while. Hey, I'm still in disbelief that Ed used the word ain't on a segment that we're talking to the teachers. teachers. Right. <laughs> My goodness. I qualified that with a, you know, with a caveat, just a point of emphasis. Oh, man, I got to tell you. <laughs> Get a roller few, across your hand for that. I got a few English teachers right now, if they're listening, God willing, some of them are still alive. They're probably thinking, boy, you think that's bad. You should have heard Pratt. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. 888-818-6334. You always knew you were in trouble when they called you by your last name. Yes. Pratt. Pratt, 800-818-6334. At this age, just call me. I don't care if you call me bad or good. Just call me. I'm lonely. <laughs> MediConnect, uh, bridging the health care gap. 888-818-6334. Ed Banizak, Sean Horn. We're back with the Inside Connection in just minutes. It's unpredictable. It's funny, real, and honest. The Big K Morning Show with Larry Richard and Marty Griffin. Listen Monday, 5.30 till 10 on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. Hey folks, the spring rains we're having are definitely hard on your home. Call PJ Fitzpatrick to fix your leaky roof right now and save you thousands on costly structural damage. And they fix it all. Drafty windows, overflowing gutters, rotted trim, and leaking roofs. This is the time to call the home repair experts at PJ Fitzpatrick. No job too big or too small. Visit them at TrustPJ.com. They'll fix it right the first time. Visit TrustPJ.com and stay off the ladders. TrustPJ.com. Beauty, durability, and value. Start your Nature Stone experience today with garage floor pricing as low as $1.99 a square foot plus installation. Visit NatureStone.com to schedule your free cost estimate. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. SchultzFord.com. 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 These are the people that make Pittsburgh work. This is Pittsburgh Works on 100.1 FM and AM 1020. KDKA. All right, last story about teachers and Ed and Sean are going to take you home. I know for a fact my children's mother used to actually spend her own money and be in that classroom. She was a kindergarten teacher three weeks before school started in the heat with no air, no fan, no mm -hmm. nothing, buying supplies. So your wife did the same thing. They go above and beyond. And I think I'd love to have more of them on because I think people need to understand the duties of a teacher are much more than nine months out of the year. Right, Ed? Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Good stuff. You're next, Sean. Yeah, I want to talk real quick once more about the seminar locations we have coming up. Once more, if you are eligible for Medicare in the next 12 months, whether it be uh, turning 65 years of age or looking to potentially retire or, again, you're working beyond 65 and you just want to look at your options, these are must-attend events. June 6th, we're going to be at the Microtel Inn up in Beaver Falls. And then right around the corner here, we're going to be, uh, you know, hitting a few other locations, looking at Toronto and uh, Harmerville. So uh, June 13th, AHN Harmer, uh, right along the 28 corridor there. June 14th, Quality Inn in Terrenum Bridge, uh, up by the Terrenum Bridge. And then June 20th, Hampton Inn in West Mifflin, always a big turnout in the Pleasant Hills area. So, again, get yourself registered, 888-818-6334, or go to MediConnectInsurance.com. Right. Uh, and again, we're always out in the community as best we can doing meetings at these individual schools. Yeah. Now, we have to be invited by the schools, of course. So some of these uh, schools have us in there, you know, routinely. Others do not. Uh, but we, the, there's the, but twice a year, the consortium will call in all the quote retirees or potential retirees for a huge group meeting. The last one was back on April 28th up in Cranberry, a couple hundred people. Uh, the next one's going to be in, in October. Uh, October 13th, actually, out in Monroeville. I think it's going to be at the Doubletree, but the point is that that's another opportunity to get information. We'll be there. 
Uh, Elaine Cole from Social Security, who's a superstar. Okay, for She'll Social be on the show in a couple weeks here. Exactly. Well. She was just at a session with, we did a couple weeks ago, so she's back in action. The point is that there's resources and communication tools out there that will help. You've been to one of those. Maybe yep. you want to come the next one, help work the table for me? Huh? Would it, I huh? think, yeah. I think oh, I'll be yeah, busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, Rob. Uh, I'll be yeah. busy doing my scripts that week. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on out. Why not? I need all the help I can get. Sometimes you're more, you're more than welcome, Rob. I used to think you were planning these shows for me, but today, being a teacher, that means you had to have a college education, so I'm not, <laughs> in, I'm not in that ballpark. But, yeah, this is fascinating stuff. And if I'm a teacher and I'm driving around and I'm my age working a little longer because teachers aren't retiring early as they once did, right? No. Some are, some aren't. So it's a mixed bag, okay? And there's reasons for that, okay? We uh, need teachers. Well, we, we need do. teachers, okay? Uh, th th there's pension issues. A lot of them are still working because the health care is so great. Maybe one of the parties, you know, has health issues. They're afraid to leave, okay? But they have to leave it at some point. We can help. 888-818-MEDI, 888-818-6334. Go ahead, Sean. And Ed, you wanted to talk a little bit about the fact some of the organizations were wanting to help, but were not thoroughly involved with yet, such as Pittsburgh Public Schools, right? Yeah, the Pittsburgh Public Schools are not part of the consortium, okay? But they're they're still part of PEASERS and have that HOP program, Yeah. okay? Um, so, again, I have helped a few of those folks, not as globally or, you know, uh, as, you know, as, as the others, of course. But, again, the concepts are relatively the same. Uh, so if you're a Pittsburgh Public School PFT person, uh, we can definitely help. Without a doubt. Hey, Rob, who was your favorite teacher growing up? Dave Bush, who died uh, in his late 40s from a heart attack long after I graduated. And I'll say it again and again and again. He taught 20th century history my senior year. If I don't have Dave Bush enter my life, I probably flunk out of high school. And who knows where I would have ended up. Because my attention span was that of a gnat. I see a bird fly outside a window. I wanted to be with that bird. But honestly, I love school, but I've always respected and admired teachers. And I don't care who you are, where you're at, teachers, all of us have a game changer, and he was my game changer. And every time I drive by his neighborhood, all these years later, I think of him. How about you, Ed? Can't say I had a favorite. I mean, we were in the Catholic school back there, and it was yeah. Sister Mary somebody or other, and you know, and it was it would be a hoot because, again, I grew up in the south side of Pittsburgh yeah. back in the day. What school did you go to? Uh, well, I graduated from St. Basil's in right. Carrick, but we did grade school down in Old St. Adalbert's, right on 15th, 14th Street. Okay, and this, it was it was by you know you talk about uh, a mixed bag. Okay, a lot of Polish people like myself, the you, you know, and uh, you used to, it would be a hoot when the nuns would swear at you in some language that you didn't know. Listen, <laughs> my two my two children went to Catholic school all the way through grade school, graduated eventually from Quigley. Mm -hmm. they, they were superstars in college. Now, their mother, being a teacher, helped. She did all the heavy lifting with homework. But that Catholic education still mm -hmm. goes a long way today. Special shout-out to Walt Malinsky up at Carrick High School, health teacher. My goodness, the guy is a legend. My favorite teacher of all. I had a lot of great ones along the way, but um, he was truly phenomenal. And, you know, I wanted to spend one more minute talking a little bit about the seminars because, again, these are crucially important when it comes to getting your Medicare career started correctly. June 6th, Microtel Inn up in Beaver Falls. June 13th, AHN Harmer Hospital. June 14th, the Quality Inn out in the uh, New Kensington to Renham area. June 20th, Hampton Inn, West Mifflin, all 6 o'clock start times. Come uh, get the education you need within an hour, and you can go to MediConnectInsurance.com, click on the Seminars tab, or call into 888-818-6334. Also very excited to talk about the fact we're going to have Tim Seckler on oh, the yeah. radio. Yeah, Elder Law. He's going to be coming on with us next week. Uh, I think he's meeting with Lance here, and uh, they actually have a really innovative and awesome new program to make estate planning a lot more affordable, a lot easier to tap into when it comes to an educational perspective. I'm super excited for him to talk about that next week. And, Ed, wrap it up with us, talk a little bit about some of the uh, good notes that you have here from me when it comes to some testimonials. Well, testimonials are always nice. Everybody likes to be either recognized or appreciated. And, again, most of the people that we see are awfully thankful that we're able to help. Okay, they're overwhelmed. It's alphabet soup. You got the A, B, C, you know, yeah. hops, peasers, PFTs. <laughs> uh, uh, it's all too much. It's all too much, okay? 
Uh, and, and again, most folks are really thankful that we're helping, you know, helping them, you know, walk through that process. And every once in a while, you know, somebody will send you a nice card, Rob. You know what I mean? It goes a long it, way. It goes a long way. So this, this is uh, Jerry and Larry Obringer of Bethel Park. Ed, thank you always to help us best health prescription plans. We really appreciate all your help. And it's a Hallmark card, too. Uh, yeah. So so you'll get that every once in a while. And, again, a lot of email thank yous, you know. So most of the folks really appreciative. And, again, sometimes when you're putting people in the right plan, uh, you drive home, you know you did good. You did good here today. And, you know, the, the signature, the gold sticker you put on the envelope, when you were in Catholic school, which I wasn't, but my friends were, and I was jealous, the nuns would always give you a gold star. Right. Yeah. Last thing about teachers, because I want to spread some love. Uh, there were so many. Um, oh. Mr. Zabo, of course, for years, and Miss Kuvert, um, incredible. Mrs. Sigworth, how I ever got through her chemistry class, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, who really opened up science to me. Many of them are gone now. Um, Tom Hansen, Principal Bill Edwards, just people, part of my life. But the coolest story, my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Blinn, when I went to the junior high school, the seventh grade teacher was Mr. Leedy. They ended up getting married. Okay. And I was so nervous. And I said, my mom said, what's the problem? I said, do I still call her Miss Blinn or do I call her Mrs. Leedy? That's how much respect. Yeah. And when you were out as a kid, if that teacher yeah. was in the grocery store, your mother would say, is that your teacher? Go get that teacher and bring that teacher over here. Mm. Or let's go over and say hi. It, it, you still need respect for certain aspects of life. And teachers should get all the respect in the world. I mean, they teach, they babysit. A lot of times, psychologists, psychiatrists, it's nurturers, unreal. everything, disciplinarians. It's unreal, it, and and they are some. No matter what district you're in, they are some of the most amazing people you will ever come across because of the love that they have for that they pour into these kids to make sure that they grow up and be successful. It's truly remarkable. And these kids have it easy yeah. today. Can I do one more yeah, example sure. of oh, something if you don't about, mind? About a minute, minute left. Okay, well, here, I'll try to be quick here, Rob. This is an example of what we do and being people being thankful and you know grateful. Uh, so I had a, this was just a couple of weeks ago, I had a retired administrator from one of the schools, okay? So he was 63, but he was going to retire, and he's going to go do COBRA till 65. Mm -hmm. His wife was turning 65 in July, so she had to come off the school plan anyway, okay? So we helped her. Uh, so in that process, the guy says, oh, would you mind helping my mother? I said, well, sure, if I can. It gets pretty good here, Rob. So he said, well, what's she on? She said, so she's on one of the Highmark plans. I said, well, there's a lot of Highmark plans in that menu. Uh, well, what's she paying? He, she's paying $256 a month. I said, she's in the wrong plan. <laughs> so we moved her, okay, to a $25 plan. So it's the right church, wrong pew. She's saving $230 a month, okay? And it, the coverage is, you know, six one half dozen of the other. Well, by the way, you, you put us in church, so amen to that. Thank you very much, Ed. <laughs> Sean, thank you. Thank you. The preceding was paid for by MediConnect. Information on the program is intended to solely further the public's general knowledge about the product. Opinions expressed should not be relied upon for any purpose by any member of the audience. News Radio KDKA does not guarantee the accuracy of any of the information heard on the preceding program. The Shaw Festival presents The Amen Corner by James Baldwin. A searing drama about love and hate played out in a church in Harlem. A teenage music prodigy has to choose between his mother, the pastor, and his father, a washed-up jazz musician. Don't miss The Amen Corner, featuring rousing songs by a gospel choir. For best seats at best prices, go to shawfest.com. Have you been told there is nothing that can be done for your neuropathy? Tri-State Neuropathy Centers is pleased to tell you that is not true. With over 10 years of experience, Tri-State Neuropathy Centers are the experts in treating neuropathy. Their team of doctors have successfully treated over 11,000 patients by utilizing the most powerful technology available. Tri-State Neuropathy Centers is hosting a series of free educational peripheral neuropathy seminars this month. Reservations are required and seating is limited, so reserve your spot today. Call 724-940-9000 to find a seminar near you. That's 724-940-9000 or go to marydanceden.com. Attend this free seminar and learn how neuropathy sufferers are getting their lives back. 
Tri-State Neuropathy Centers, the leader in treating peripheral neuropathy. When the original Mattress Factory opened its doors, our competitors questioned our approach. When we vowed to never have a sale, they said, holiday sales are huge money makers for the bedding industry. A mattress store that doesn't have a sale just won't work. But OMF didn't listen. Instead, we offered the same fair price to everyone every day. We chose to have transparent pricing and not apply pressure to close a sale. Over 30 years later, we're proud to say that we still have never had a sale. The others said it wouldn't work. We're 